everybody i'm back i'm back look i just put up a video on youtube so you guys need to go and look at it it's about our options family planning having mixed babies what do i mean by having mixed babies is really not what you think i hope y'all had a good holiday season i want y'all to go into this new year feeling better and I'm not flexing on y'all. When you get out of America, you do feel so much lighter. I ain't gonna even lie. When you can pay four to five hundred dollars a year for your rent and be done, girl, you get to sleep differently at night, okay? Something else I want y'all to know is I'm really a big proponent of having mixed babies. What do I mean by that? I talked about that in my video. Um, and what is your bride price? There is a wedding going on this weekend and I just see the way they do weddings and family here. What we doing in the US, we have been in a fantasy. It is a whole fantasy that does not exist. They put black men, indigenous men in the box of only monogamy, meaning that was not our only family structure. So we've been taken from tradition and from culture, from indigenous practices. So we have a society that looks the way it looks. Women jumping in trash cans, checking a man phone, men and women having domestic violence back and forth because we've come away from a lot of tradition. So when you come to tradition and you get to really see marriage the way it's done, the, what, what we talking about over there, y'all don't want love no more. I know y'all don't. Y'all not interested in courtship. It's a sick conversation that I don't like to involve myself in in the U.S. I don't. And being in matchmaking for so long, I left it alone. I matched my last couple at the beginning of the year. If you're not African-centered, I don't fool with you. And it's draining to deal with the love, black love conversation in America. In America. But over here, where they value marriage, the men are valued, the women are valued. Yeah, that's what we need to be on. What y'all on, all y'all beautiful people beautiful people chronically single and don't even like each other and i've been noticing it for years i used to stand hard for black men i used to and i said to myself this newfangled stuff they got going on i wasn't that i wasn't that, that was when the black man i was talking about black dick worship worship the black man the black man is god no since the pandemic over the last three years our society has devolved and you know that it's gotten more hostile Y'all have gotten way more hostile to each other. If you over the age of 30, if you even the new school and you alive right now, your chances for getting married and wanting to be married are slim to none. A lot of y'all have this pie in the sky, maybe it'll happen one day. When you are in a context when marriage is the focus and priority, you ain't gotta be dating nobody for seven years. They don't even do that in this culture. And you're going to have a lot of people to try to tell you something different. Oh, what African men is. No, I'm speaking specifically about the Tamale experience. I'm putting my matchmaker hat back on because I take it off in the U.S. I see that because the U.S. drains me. You would think the black men ain't shit and you would think the black women ain't shit in the culture we're in. In the culture we're in. It's a fool. I ain't want to deal with nobody. You sick in the head when you're there. You can't even find love. It ain't nothing wrong with you. It's the culture, baby. It made you sick. It made y'all so sick. Beautiful people. All of this potential, and that's what they wanted to do. They knew that we were so brilliant. Who is they? We talking about the powers that be, white supremacy, sweetheart. They knew that when we were together creating family, that that was the weapon. So now we're playing parenthood, as I talked about in the video on YouTube, I'm posted. They did Planned Parenthood. They pit the male and female slaves against each other on a plantation. All the way back then. All the way back then. And so now here we go. Sterilizing us. Ripping the babies out of our womb. Medical apartheid. All right. Now we got the gender war. Y'all don't even want each other. Fuck having kids. They made sure your womb gonna be sterile. Planned Parenthood is in effect. Margaret Sanger is just smiling from the grave. And all of her other forefathers are smiling because even though they made sure your womb was not able to have children, they made sure that you didn't have the desire to want family. You don't even care about family. Y'all think y'all do. You ain't seen family until you come into indigenous traditional societies. You would throw up if you even want, you wouldn't even want to date in American culture. Don't do it, sis. Don't spend the rest of your years over there with that mess. Please don't do that. Brothers, don't do that. 
Don't date in a culture where you're constantly being fed red pill ideology. They taking your dick from you too. God damn it, they got y'all. They knew it. They knew it. See, I came from I came from a household, single mother household. I know what it's like for men to hate you. And I see that's what our brothers, they're being shaken in a bottle. Let me use my bottle, my detox water. Put you some limes, some key limes in your water, flush your system. They shaking you up in a bottle. Got you crazy in the head. And you like, damn, I don't even want these women. You don't even want love at all. You don't want to be bothered. You can barely break even on rent, right? They got us. They got us. They got us. They got us. Men thinking they ain't shit, cheating on every woman they've been in a relationship with. They're good men, but you got KPLS, it's King's Past Life Syndrome. You were a man that was destined, it's in your DNA and in your wiring. All black men, indigenous men are not wired for monogamy in the Judeo-Christian system. They got us. So now you're, you're in a matrix now of constantly being fed propaganda of now you got to only see one woman you know, desire one woman, one woman. You are trying to unwire your natural wiring for who you are meant to be and it will never work. So yeah, you're gonna be in an American cheating obsessed culture. That's what I talked about in the book. Check the link in the bio. Send me a DM so I can get you an ebook. I've been talking about this. So now this is almost 10 years in the game. I've been doing this 10 years. I started being a matchmaker in 2011. I left the flight attendant industry because I was finding so many black men. I couldn't date them all. I started doing singles events. And then I went, it was don'tdatelosers.com. Then I switched brands to ancestralarrangematch.com in 2016. I wanted to focus just on us because we the only ones where they focused on taking our families apart. They wanted to destroy the black family. Don't nobody else need help getting love and getting marriage like us. So now, fast forward from 2016 now to 2024. Y'all don't like each other. Y'all don't like each other. You're 40 now. I started off, I'm 42. 42. What's your bride price, sis? I invited the sisters to the womb school so that we can have a conversation about pan-African family planning. If you want to extend your bloodline, if we're going to sustain ourselves and have a real new black society, y'all going to have to remove yourself from that context. In practice, in mindset, and environment. You're going to have to pick up and move. Hell, even God told Abraham, pick up, move. Picking up, moving. Okay, you got the conscious piece, right? Y'all conscious, you got that. You picked up and moved out of that shit, out of Judeo-Christian. Okay, where we at now? You still ain't rich. You still don't know what you're here to do. You still hate your job. They still breaking you economically. You still don't like men. You don't like women. Ain't nobody here to support you. What's next? The culture is not here to support black people. The, the system ain't even there to support you. So what you think the, the culture all of a sudden is going to be supporting black love and black families? No, it's not. You have to uproot. Get out. This is spiritual. This ain't no business move to have you come on my trips and look at land. It's getting a new black society created. And I gotta be the one to stick out my neck and sound crazy and say, black man, bring that good seed over here and bring yourself in a healthier context so that you can really build family right. Black sisters, bring your good womb and your childbirth and years, the rest of them, not being gaslit and that gum ghosted on the dating scene with unhealthy Negroes because they sick. They've been made sick. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They're in an environment where they've been made to hate you. It's not in their heart. Come on, you gotta come up out of that. I'm, I'm grateful for the sisters. I have a few people, sisters and brothers, that have started the RSVP for this trip in April. You're not gonna believe how comfortable you feel when you just get here. You can buy land 400 to 500 an acre. On Monday, I'm gonna be sending um, videos to all the people that wanna buy land, personal videos, four and 500 an acre. The mud hut homes are $50. You have to get your land first. So let's say you do $500 an acre, $500, another $50 for your house, $550. Get your, girl, ain't no way I'll be in the motherfucking U.S. playing around like that. I'm 42, babe. I've been single before in the U.S. I'm off the market. I know what that shit is like to date brothers that you really stand for and to date sisters that you really desire, but something off and it just always ends horribly. It ain't y'all, it's the context. It's the context. Two sick people can't make a healthy relationship. So I don't care how much. 
I don't care how much you want to stand for black love, you can't stand for something that ain't in you. And you can't stand for it in a, in a culture that don't support it. You're going you gonna to run a marathon and build your new black society in a, in a culture like that? It can't. This is how much I love my society. I have to get the fuck out and go somewhere where I can extend my bloodline. With the Mansa Musas, the Steve Bicos, the Thomas Sankara, the African activists. My son's father is Jamaican. Very powerful Jamaican man in government. I live for him. I love him so much. I ride. I was so proud to have my baby with a Jamaican man. Because the power, the, the connection to Africa. He, he facilitated this awakening for me. We both woke up together. I knew I had to have men, black men included. I've only dated the best of the best black men, let's be very clear. So black men with very high cultural identity, that's on that African shit, or African and Jamaican or Haitian. That's it, that's the creme de la creme for, for your bloodline sisters and brothers. I'm not talking to y'all that's colorist and that want something light, bright next to white, that want to breed the black and African out. We talk about the ones that want to strengthen our bloodline and extend it. I'm talking about what bloodlines are strong and which ones are, out. when you dating and swirling and shit, that's a recessive mix. I'm talking about mixing with something strong, even DNA and in culture. This is the stronger culture to support this. American culture, oh, they just gonna keep telling you to get your pronouns right, trans, doing more wound implants. Girl, they back and forth and forth and back. You went trans, now the trans want to go back. Girl, please. That's what y'all want to be in. You want to you wanna keep dating women just to be disappointed? You want to keep dating men just to be disappointed and ghosted after you gave up all that good to us again and did all the things. And now you're broken and bitter and men are broken. No, you don't have to be broken and bitter. That's how you got us. If you're broken and bitter, the program will work. If you ain't, if your tussy cat and womb ain't juicy, ready to pop out a baby, with, with all the birthing years you got, you've been programmed. Because you were put here to birth children until the day you die. Oh God, she's crazy now. I'm happy. Let me just be crazy. I'll just be crazy. I'm so, I'm so in touch with nature. Y'all so natural buying seeded watermelons. But y'all don't want to tell the truth about what you were here to naturally do with your bodies. What your bodies are here to naturally do. Girl, stop. Man, stop. They got you. You want a vasectomy. You don't want no children. That's how you know they got our people. So when you talk about family planning, what's your bride price? That should trigger you because nobody's thinking like that no more. Y'all thinking about gold diggers who want to take you for your money. Where you going to go out to eat? Wrong. You're not having the right conversation about the conversation. So what's your bride price is the conversation I'm gonna be having in the womb school about Pan-African love, how you can extend your bloodline with African men and African culture and context. This is for black men and women. I put my matchmaker hat back on. <laughs> Not heavy, cause child, I'm good. I, ain't, I don't stress about none of that stuff, I really don't. The ancestors gonna have their way because one thing I do understand is that if you don't hear me, you ain't never gonna hear me. And you're going to stay there for the rest of your life and play around in that trash cesspool and try to swim and thrive in a cesspool of a gender war and a battle of the sexes. Every day, every night, this is what you're being inundated with. Even the ones that think they help it. You're not even a good mate right now because you don't have a culture and an environment that would even support you and the life you want to live. Okay, you, can't even, you don't even know what you don't know yet. So it takes leaving the context leaving the culture, leaving the environment to do that. So I was just a little fired up because, yeah, Pan-African, black love may be dead in the U.S., but Pan-African and black love is very real on the continent, okay? Because it's, it's dead. This is this is the year of the black man being drugged to hell. Have y'all noticed? They dragging the black man to hell. They going to make sure that after 2023 and going into 2024, you don't want no, nobody black. They want to make sure. So, yeah, you need to have some mixed kids. Mix your kids with the continent. That's what you need to do. Mix your kids with these good, this good old Tamale DNA where they treat you with respect. The men where they treat you with respect. Don't come in my inbox talking about, oh, it's a green card thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't put that on this. Don't speak evil of good, because that's all you got. 
you only have that. You only know scamming and, you know, shit that's fucked up because that's what you used to seeing. You don't know what it's like to have a healthy context and be excited about marriage and weddings and shit like that. You don't know nothing about that. So you would rather think that, oh, no, it don't exist. Women don't go over there. I don't want, I'm scared of little African man. Like, all of that shit. Because it's that fantasy you got in your head of what you think your life's supposed to look like. They already got you, sis. They told you that success was having a degree and a car and stuff, and you're still empty inside. So I'm telling you, all that other stuff, you thinking your life's supposed to look like this man, this thing, and no, actually you're supposed to be happy and fulfill your purpose. You don't know what you're even here to incarnate to do. So yeah, I know this conversation is not for a lot of I don't I don't know African man I am. Fine. I'm talking about Pan African family planning and people that really want to change their context. You gotta change your context first. I'm not gonna battle with your ignorance. I'm not here to change your mind, girl. Black brother, I'm not here to change your mind. The evidence, I don't have to convince you of nothing because the evidence is in America all on its own. You're broken, you're mad, you're bitter, you're alone, and there is no juice and passion for love in your life. And that's how I know the real agenda to stop population. Don't worry about no more shots and shit. Y'all ain't got to worry about shots and people dragging you out your house, killing you. They got you. You will not extend your generation past your ass because they got a whole bunch of y'all don't even want to have no children no more, okay? So... Go to my YouTube. Um, if y'all want the land, get the book, the E, the 50 page E guide about how to buy land in Ghana. It's a lot of countries that offer free citizenship as well. I posted a video about that yesterday. It's a section in the book, the 50 page E guide for that. So send me a DM, say God, I'll send you the E guide. It's not for free. When I say send it to you, you do have to purchase it. It's just 20 bucks. Um, so get the E guide, or you can even join the Zoom call, Live Well for Less in Ghana and the Struggle. Y'all struggling. I'm not looking down on you. I'm giving you a way up. You see how this Wi-Fi acting right today? Wi-Fi acting right today? I wore red and pink. I mean, not red and pink, but blue and pink for men and women. Pan-African love is really real. What's your bride price, ladies? Send me an email, rcathy at gmail, or send me a DM if you want to be part of the conversation, you know, to talk about ancestral matchmaking, what that looks like, family planning. If you are interested in still marriage and children and family, and you want to do it in a healthier context, Talking about what's your bride price, it is such a beautiful conversation. It's so beautiful. Because the act of getting married and joining families, Lord have mercy. We're so far away from that. We're so far away. Yeah, they, they made sure they y'all don't even like each other to even talk about marriage and having babies and having strong black families. They shut that shit down. They, they got us. My new black society I'm creating over here, I'm being very clear about that. Am I clear? Am I clear? It ain't no back and forth for me. It's none of that I've been groomed to be here. Healthy. We breathe a different air here. The air is different here. The stuff y'all talking about back home, I'm not interested in. Y'all need to be worried about. The only worry y'all need to have, ladies, is planning your wedding and your bride price and having your list, what's on your list. It's so beautiful. And it, and it is so nice to see what's offered to you as a bride. Honey, they don't want you to feel like that. You got a society of men right now and women right now arguing at each other, telling men they ain't shit, and then the men telling women they ain't shit. Don't go over there. They ain't want you. They ain't gonna want no women. That's I had so many men tell me that. It's like, they saying you ain't shit. You know how a person, a kid can be in school and the teachers can say, oh, he's got this disability. There's something wrong with him. And you just change the teacher, change the environment, and you see it was actually great all along. Same thing with you. Sis, don't you let these people tell you, ask me and they gonna like y'all. No, don't, don't listen to that. It's the environment. You're not ratchet, degenerate whores that's disrespectful and masculine and all that stuff. That's none of that's true. You are a product of your goddamn environment. And when you're taken out of that environment, you can thrive. You'll be surprised how goddamn soft you are when you ain't worried about damn rent. Men will find themselves so masculine when they ain't being beat down every month by rent. Men and women, your real masculinity can thrive here in a more traditional context. America is so full of shit. America shit. And listen, I love America for what I love it for. Because I will have my African and pan African babies back in America. I ain't gonna even lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I will have that nice little American birthing center or birthing center here. I don't know what it's gonna be. But anyway. Come to the womb school. I'm having a conversation about what's your bride price, and I'm having a trip April 15th through 28th here so you can experience Tamale. 
is land 400 to 500 per acre. It's a lot of that available. Um, only doing about 10 acres, I've already had to extend it to about 20 because I have people already wanting to get the land secure and stuff like that. So $500, if you want to come to the trip, you can pay 100 put your land on layaway. But you do need to get your land first before you get the $50 mud home, okay? The mud hut home, you need to get your land first so they can put the home on that. So if you have any questions about that, let me know. Thank y'all for listening to me. Because that was on my heart. I want to talk about the bride price because, you know, planning weddings for myself and others and planning for the next babies that I'm having here and stuff like that's a blessing. And I see that a lot of my sisters and brothers don't have that excitement. It's not even reality for a lot of you anymore. So if, it, if you want it to be, it can be. But you in a matrix that has made you so sick and, and the agenda is has been accomplished, mission accomplished. So the agenda is complete, it's complete. But if you don't want that to be your reality, you can come by there, it's one one-way ticket. If you're really serious, and you can do a round trip just to experience this so you can see what I'm talking about. And once you get here, you immediately notice like, holy shit, they've been lying to us. You will immediately see why they don't want us over here. You will, be ha you will have peace, you have so much peace. So stop being gaslit and ghosted. Yes, you are experiencing fuck ass niggas, and me as me and you experiencing some bitch ass bitches because it's the environment. It's not that we are inherently bad. The environment that made us sick. So when y'all finally get together on dates, y'all have the most toxic, weird relationships, and they go nowhere. All y'all doing is fucking, fucking and sucking, okay? And after that, what you have? Nothing. You can't sustain in an environment. The new black society can't be rebuilt in a war torn environment. You cannot sustain a stronger black generation of children in a war-torn environment. When you're at war, you have to leave in a different land. You have to seek out different lands, less hostile territory, so that you can rebuild. Hope y'all got that. When you are at war, I want to say that again, when you are at war, you cannot rebuild, procreate, and start your new communities and families in a war-torn environment. You have to remove yourself. You have to seek less hostile territory and environments so that you can rebuild your society. Y'all trying to rebuild in hell. You're not going to do that, babe. It's going to get worse. The red pill, blue pill, gender war conversation, y'all don't like each other anymore. I told you that years ago. Y'all thought I was crazy. I said 80% of black women don't even like black men. And I just didn't finish the conversation. It was the same for men. 80% of they definitely like y'all now. I used to be so for the black man and black love. I'm not saying I'm not. I, I'm not standing for this generation of it. That's not who I was standing for because they devolved the ev evolution being devolved. The race to the bottom is happening for everybody. So no, I wasn't talking about damn niggas sucking damn niggas dicks and black dick worship as I used to talk about. That ain't this new fangled group that's been brainwashed and um, you know contaminated by COVID and the pandemic and we just we're the we're lowest we've ever been so you have to you gotta reset your body you gotta detox babe when you sick you gotta flush just like this water you gotta put things in that water properties in the water to make it so that it's alkaline and so that it can have a detoxifying effect on your body. You gotta put things in it. What's being put in your water in America? Come on, message. Thank you, Spirit. What's being put in the waters? The gender war? If he don't make this much, and he don't make this, and if she make more than you, that's what's being put in the water, making you sick. What's being put in the waters here is family, tradition, those real practices, Veneration of your ancestors. The ancestors, nature, and spirits are being put in the water that you're drinking over here. Over there. Battle of the sexes. They got you cheating up said society. That's what's in the water over there. Y'all ain't drinking it. You think you're going to be healthy drinking that gender war water. You're not. You will never want a black man in that environment. I love black men, and I see the one. That's being bred. And I'm like, oh hell no. They don't like y'all since they don't even like you no more. How could you? They being programmed every day with red pill, blue pill conversation to not like you. And it's one they want, they want. 
and it's just the same thing. Y'all scared till it's hostile. You want to go out on days. They they already start when you're here. They you just you're human. They look at you as a person. It's just I keep shaking my head because I'm like it's I'm just talking to the three people that's gonna hear me. I'm not, and I know a lot of y'all gonna go down with the Titanic ship. Yep, yeah, I'm drunk that water too bad. A lot of y'all gonna use y'all energy to tell me that I'm lying. A lot of people are using their energy and have been using their energy to ruin my credibility because I'm the one that's really rebuilding the new black society. You see how low my views and numbers and shit like that is? It ain't the people that got the big numbers all the time because why the fuck would you want to put this on the biggest platform? I am a threat to the whole damn system. A woman talking about having black love and children and procreating with black and African people? Hey, so yeah, it's okay. I get I get the role I play in this, and it's not easy, but boy, it's so rewarding. Cause I'm just shaking my head like, yep, they will keep you convinced to fight for your hell while everybody else is having a heaven, especially in love and marriage. So sis, join the conversation. Um, what's your bride price? What's your bride price? And what price are you gonna pay to keep standing in that culture? And every year, you're 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 starting to not like your own men year after year after year. And how could you? How could you? How could you? Okay, so I'll talk to y'all later. DM me if you want the e-guide. Learn about the other places that you can get um, citizenship and learn about land and learn how to get it. The Zoom call is going to be at the first of the year. It's pre-recorded. It's got all the information from housing, land, how to start your business here in Ghana. Um, but I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all for y'all support so much. And this land, I'm going to be sending out videos Monday to everybody that's either coming on the trip or one of my land here. It's going to be personal videos for each plot. The 500 and acre plot and land sites, I have $400 acre sites too. $400 ones. Um, they were like 5,000 CDs. So that's 400 USD. I have those on me sending out that Monday. So if houses are $50, mud hut homes, which you have to have your um, acre plan to put it on, which is 500,000 or 1,500, okay?